Hi everyone, I'm Mario and this is the second part of a video series on Mount Vesuvius and the Campi Frigate. In this video, I will be focusing on the Flagrum Fields, or as they call in Italian, the Campi Frigate. They're a huge volcanic field, now active for about 18,000 years, without any main structure. Instead, there are several eruptive vents scattered inside a large caldera. This caldera is the result of two huge eruptions, the eruption of the Ignimbrite Campana and the eruption of the Tufo Giallo Campana, which happened respectively 39,000 and 15,000 years ago. In the last 12,000 years, more than 61 eruptions occurred, constantly changing the geomorphology of the region. The last one of them, which happened in 1538, generated the Monte Nuovo Tuff Cone, which is still clearly visible today. The most famous crater of the Campi Vigrei is Shirley di Solfadara. More precisely, it's a mar, which is a large, not very tall structure. Its last eruption was in the 12th century. However, a lot of secondary volcanic activities linked to the crater are still occurring today. Their most notable manifestations are the Fangaia and the Fumaroles. The Fangaia is a mud pool formed by rainwater and by the condensation of steam, and by clay, forming a mud that boils because of the high temperature of the soil. This mud is rich in minerals, and from it a lot of gases come out at very high temperatures. Instead, fumaroles are openings on the surface that emit gases and steam at very high temperatures, ranging from 100 to 1000 degrees Celsius. The steam comes from the heating of water, while other gases come from the magma underground. Many different gases come out of the fumaroles, however, something to note is that some of these gases can be toxic for human health, especially if inhaled for a long period of time. Some examples are arsenic trisulfide, mercury, and sulfur dioxide, which is responsible for the classic smell of rotten eggs. Another notable secondary volcanic activity in the Campi Vigrei is the bradyseismic phenomenon, which consists of a gradual uplift or descent of the Earth's surface, thanks to thousands of small localized earthquakes. Bradyseism doesn't only occur in the Campi Vigrei, but this region is one of the most studied for this phenomenon. In particular, many studies take into consideration an old Roman construction, the Serapeo, which is located near the dock of Pozzuoli, a town encircled in the Campi Vergles caldera. The structure is now above sea level, however, on the erect columns at various heights, traces of boreholes left by marine mollusks have been found, indicating that the construction has gone below sea level and then resurfaced at a later time. Bradyseism has affected the population of the area quite a lot, especially in the town of Pozzuoli. Even in recent times, during the 20th century, there have been so-called bradyseismic crises, where the entire population of the town of Pozzuoli left the area because all the buildings could not withstand the force of so many earthquakes in a brief period of time. Naturally, times have changed, and since the late 20th century, the area is being constantly monitored by local authorities, and it's possible to calculate the variation of the surface height in real time. Starting from 2005, there has been a period of constant uplift at an increasing rate, culminating in various earthquake swarms hitting the area. The last one of them, as of June 2024, started on the 20th of May 2024. More than 150 earthquakes hit the area, even one of magnitude 4.4. Volcanologists agree that there isn't any immediate threat of a full-on eruption, but it should still be considered as a worst-case scenario. Thanks to everyone for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and also write any questions in the comments or other topics you'd like to see a report on.